Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2 in the Jurassic World Dominion campaign because finally we are doing it after weeks of procrastinating because I've been busy with um school stuff as film school and stuff which I do apologize that I haven't been doing much on the channel but we're finally here we're doing the campaign and as you can see um I already did the chaos theory because well I actually did record it but uh the audio got corrupted and I was just feeling like uh, I don't want to do it again right now I just literally did it so we're going on to the campaign but if you guys want me to still do the chaos theory for Dominion for you guys leave it in the comments below but today we are doing the second campaign to enter the game not the DFW one I, I don't even really remember much of that one just apart from collecting dinosaurs in different um parts of the world but today we are doing the dominion campaign biosyn specifically experience the story of biosyn genetics from wannabe to world leader lewis dotson looks like looks ugh. lewis dotson let's try that again experience the story of biosyn genetics from wannabe to world leader lewis dotson looks to go further than ever before seeking the most accurate dinosaurs ever brought back to life Spoiler warning refers to events in Jurassic World Dominion, which apparently there's supposed to be two parts. I have seen the first part a little bit of this campaign, but we are going to be doing, well, at least in this video for sure, the first part or most of it. I don't know. I don't know how long this is supposed to be. If it's like this, then realistically, I think we could do it all in one video, but who knows? But also, hold on. I need to check to see if audio's on. <laughs> Okay, I just checked. We have the audio on. It's not going to be complete silence. At least, here's hoping. So, let's go. Remember, if you haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion, turn this off now and go and see it right now. Get yourself a ticket because, well, what are you doing here if you're not? But, let's go. Oh, yeah, go. As John Hammond realized his vision for Jurassic Park, his competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn looked to close the gap by stealing the advantages that InGen and Dr. Wu had worked so hard to gain. To do this, they would need someone on the inside. Nedry. So they enlisted a disgruntled computer engineer named Dennis Nedry. A plan was devised to steal InGen's. Oh, the product placement here. With an inconspicuous canister created to house the precious commodity. Execute. Nobody oh. really knows what happened that fateful night. What is certain is that Dennis Nedry and the samples were never seen again. Aw, oh, man. What darn Wayne Knight? So too had him. Oh, his glasses! We found them. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again. This time, succeeding in delivering Hammond's vision to the world. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Nice. Ooh, the dam! God, that is a gorgeous map. And there it is, the Biosyn Dome. You're telling me. Also, does anyone think that Biosyn was real evil for their safety measures for the dinosaurs? Because if you've seen the movie, you see what happens to all the dinosaurs during the incident. It's not really safe. They put, put them in a death pit. Oh yeah, it is. It is the best map in this game. Uh, of course they couldn't. Oh, right. Ramsey's here too. Yes. Yes, sir, Lewis. Dotson. We're isolated, which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage. Oh, some of the trees aren't filtering in again. And how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. Oh, look at the fog come in. That is so gorgeous. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. 
just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Oof. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature. Oof. There's some sass in that voice. And there we go. Here's the Biosyn Dome. Oh, yeah. Listen to Mission Brief. So. I guess what they say is true. It's location, location, location. I know. I realize this is perfect. Keeps us away from the public's prying eyes. Yep. Keeps the political do-gooders at arm's length. Oh, there's where the helicopter was. Oh, there's no, like, little platform or anything. Oh, God, phasing through. Help! That is where Biosyn wins. We bring a balance that InGen never understood. We see the whole... Wait a minute. That's Isaac? Oh, my God, you traitor. You bugger you. Oh, oh InGen totally failed. You were working for them. All right, control... Okay, hyper... Here's the hyperloop thing, which... Okay, we'll start by connect... Okay, so we'll just start with it here, and then connect... So this is the new thing, the hyperloop, which already is awesome. So, connect the... And a research... Uh, can we even get a research compound? Or do we need to... Uh, oh, we can't build anything else. Let's speed that up, please. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. Ah, power. Okay, let's build all this back here. So these actually, if I'm not mistaken, can be built without a path and also with um, a path. So if you want to build your entire park like this, this is going to be great for the um, Sanctuary playthrough because I know a lot of you have been waiting for that, but I think now after we do this we're definitely going to be fine so let's just speed that up and is this thing being built oh okay what do we do research core facilities <laughs> does anyone think he just sounds so bored it's like yeah carry on <laughs> i mean uh it's campbell scott who plays him if i'm I think it's him, but God, like I was really surprised how well they he did for Lewis Dotson. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now can I build anything else? Like I'll probably need. Oh, I can't build any of these. Ah, uh, you buggers, you were sneaky. All right, let's build a path system at least. So just do it straight. So then we can, you know, build all of our facility needs. Okay, listen to mission briefing. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, yep, it's building. That did it. We have access to the core facilities. So they come through here. I wonder how it connects to here, because they were all in here, all the dinosaurs. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. I think we can do that. It's all starting to come together, just as we envisioned. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Oh, sure you are. We'll give them some credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Oh! Right. The 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 world that they could do it. Once they did, they wanted to showcase them as circus freaks and rub our faces in it. They didn't get it. Evolution is not just DNA and frogs, it also happens in business to advance the world. Think of what we will bring to the world. Think of what we will bring to humanity. New medicines, biotechnology, beauty products, you name it, we will own Beauty it. products? What? You're gonna use the dinosaurs? Oh, get your dinosaur makeup here, boys and girls! That is the only way we can secure the dinosaur survival. I love that, just even beauty products. <laughs> Could you imagine a commercial? I mean, Camp Cretaceous, we're going to get a weird, like, little commercial thing. Because, like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there was this um, little commercial thing for Camp Cretaceous with the mind-controlling thing. It is just so stupid. But, I mean, come on. Like, like I, 
I don't have much hopes for Camp Cretaceous Season 5, but, like, it was just hilarious. But just imagine, like, for beauty products, but thanks to dinosaurs. Do you want to have the looks of a beautiful Brachiosaurus or even a Velociraptor? Well, you gotta get our custom dino makeup. Oh, and here comes the fog. Oh, that fog is just so good. This is the best map in the game. I cannot stress that enough. Like, the fog alone, I only wish that you could have snow in this landscape, because imagine how it'll look with that. That would just be beautiful looking. Well, right. Hold on, hold on. Can I get a science... Uh, can I get a... Uh, what do I have to do? Oh, I need... Oh, I need to have four scientists employed. How many can I get? I can get four, but what do I need for their stats? Okay, so I need six in each, and we basically just need someone with all that. So let's go to scientists. Let's get, uh, let's see. We need someone good, but not too expensive. So cheaper expeditions, that is already good. And no, no, no. And we need someone else with stats like that at least and your pay is good faster research that's good Ooh, you would be great for welfare but uh let's get you first and i think okay that's it okay we need yeah we do need to get four they're like you can have all the stuff you need but you still need four scientists i know we're such pains and cheap cheaper synthesis and yeah i don't need the biggest people right now, but right now I just need to, all right, let's research. Oh, wait, it's already done. Now what? I have exciting news. We're closing in on some exclusive biosyn tech. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we build this up. Okay. So, no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs. That's totally safe. God, these buildings are gorgeous looking. Like, I love the shapes. I think we have to research those, don't we? It's bad enough that dinosaurs never knew what a fence was until we placed them around them. Okay, can we research? But what if they become dependent oh, we need to wait for the wet. Oh, God damn it! At least they could see a barrier between us and them. You know, that's a good point, actually. And what makes... Look, it feels like we're messing with them and how comfortable they'll be in their environment. We're concerned about fences? The dinosaurs never saw a human before either, and that hasn't stopped us. Okay, well, you know, I really like how this is showing Ramsey Cole, because, like... We need more power! Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, uh... Okay, we got dinosaurs coming. Your connections? What are they? Ooh. Oh, yeah, they mentioned that in Dominion. Some of the dinosaurs were from Sorna. Yeah, right, because of, you know, the Easter egg. That was awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's first build one for what's coming first. Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus, and then... I think all three of these species can go together. A lot more stressed out. Uh, yeah, we can transport them. We've got, I have no idea how many of that said. Okay, so. Okay, let's pause first and we'll just fix this. Now, I love how it says that we need fences for these, but I mean, can't they just drive over like for our ranger teams? Okay, well, here, have a gate there, and have a gate there. Do we even have a ranger team, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? 
Yes, we do. Okay, so let's... Hopefully they... Oh, crap. Come on. Build the fence. Build... Why is this fence going really slow? I've made a mistake. They're gonna break out, aren't they? Oh, my God. This is so slow. Okay. Okay, what are you missing? Let's see. You need ground fruit and ground fiber, which I'm pretty sure you have plenty of for us, so you should be good there. And you'll need, uh, give me two minutes on those because this, I don't want to deal with you guys if these guys are going to break out too. Ground fruit, there you go. And, oh, come on, hurry up. Bill. And... There we go, it's building, and then this will be the enclosure for like all the other stuff, like when we get those species, like the new ones, because I think we're just getting these three, and next up is the Parasaurolophus, so let's clear this out a bit, you know, have an open spot, and then add some water, and we'll need, um, I'm assuming we'll need some viewing towers, or whatever they are, research outposts, which... Let's get one right in the middle, actually. That will cover pretty much the whole thing. And we'll just build that around there. Now, can I build this underneath? Oh, yeah, you can build it under anything. That's going to be... Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I just accidentally, um, you know, told them to wait two minutes again. God damn it. And it is going quite dark, actually, on this map. Oh, God, look at these views. Oh, the clouds! They're breaking up! And also, the Gallimimus are interrupting the nice view. All right, so let's just release them all. And, oh, so this is still building, actually. Power consumption, 95. Oh, my God. Are you guys okay with um these guys? Oh, oh yeah, it's the Lost World. Well, they came from East Sornos, and what do you expect? Okay, so they're okay with that, and they are okay with the Parasaurolophus. Now, let's see, do they have... Oh, great, they have the wrong skin. Yeah, apparently this is the 1993 version, uh, Frontier. I, I hate to tell you, but this isn't even in any of the movies. So now let's get some Parasaurolophus. And now, let's see, what do you need? You need ground leaf. All right, so we'll put it, like, on the outskirts here, because I don't want it taking up too much of the stegos because I'm pretty sure Parasaurolophus just needs the same thing so let's just spread this around here come on just itch come on there you go and by the time you spread your territory you'll be fine and let's see the Parasaurolophus the pump so it's yep it's the regular and so what do we need Ah, uh, we need ground nut, apparently, for you guys. Looks like the enclosures are ready. Need to make these habitats as desirable and you need more water. Okay, so there you go. There's ground nut. And now you'll need a little bit more forest, which I don't know how. Just start spreading out. And then water, you, you haven't touched it yet. Okay, and now let's check the other dinosaurs, because, you know, I've been taking up some of their stuff. Okay, ground fruit's a little bit short on you guys. Let's just, uh, let's just edge that a little bit higher. There we go. That's a nice little plump of it. And there we go. This enclosure is good. Hopefully we don't need any more species. Now let's see, how big is this map, like, in comparison? Because, I mean, it already look. Why does it look smaller? Brand, is it sh I've been going through the data, and I think we can make some real progress. Oh, we, we need, a. Uh, I already have one though. Awesome. Let's make it happen. Okay, fine. Demolish that, and then we'll put. We slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. We set up the necessary patrols. Yeah, I don't have to remind you. Remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on it. Well, at least this guy's a little bit smart. Although, then again, he did make a enclosure for his um, bugs to be able to easily break out and turn into a f inflambe. Okay, so we need... Uh, what? Excuse me. They're, they're, yeah, they're 100%. There's no way. Okay, so we need one of these because, you know, manual. And then let's add... 
this to check that make sure all dinosaurs can be reached by the ranger post which that should be counting all of them yep every single one is in there we might need a second one if they break they shouldn't nobody go outside of this come on hurry up speed it up there you go and now just wait for that they'll check them all out make sure everyone's okay and hopefully we don't need any more species go to research Nope, never heard of it. Because, gentlemen, that's where you find yourselves. Both of you. I'm not sure I follow. It means we're doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. Yeah! How's the building coming, actually? Oh, yep, it is building the next level. Biosyn's counting on you. More importantly, I am counting on you. Perfect genetic samples for the best outcome. That is something Biosyn will try to check for. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not yet in control. There is no such thing. Didn't you hear Dr. Wu in the movie? God damn it. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, it's level six. Okay, so we need a fossil center. The fossils. We still make the same mistakes. Oh, we're making Dimetrodon! Yes! So let's take a look at this. Ooh, ho ho ho. What's this? Allosaurus. Dimetro oh, there's Dimetrodon. Cheaper expeditions. What are you talking about? This isn't even a dinosaur. I mean, you were making a... The, the movie said in the news position that it was like $36 billion they were making, which is insane. I don't know how much like a regular place will make, but Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Okay, so what do... This is injury... What does this do? Oh, cheaper. Okay, we're going to get another scientist because we need to... Because, you know, ooh, this guy is... Okay, that is expensive. No, not that guy. Not yet. Yeah, so... I'm guessing all we need to do is actually go to the fossils and... Oh, so we've got only amber. So, let's do three here. That's 53. And... Okay, so now let's go to that research, do that medical thing, because, you know, it'll be very helpful. Oh, for gosh sakes, why isn't... Oh, they're still resting, for God's sake. So, yeah, this campaign is probably one of the best of, like, both games. And also, I'm realizing I'm probably going to need to delete a whole bunch of four, so let's just um, go right here, cut, like, a little space out. Oh, God, the music is gorgeous for this campaign, actually. Okay, so here's the open space, and then there's the gate, so cut through there. And then, you know, they'll be able to loop around. Then let's just cut this forest out right here. We don't need it, because, you know, we'll need them to go around. And then cut through here, open space for Dimetries over here. And new viable genome, let's go and mix incubate four of them that's it we've had a breakthrough yeah an entirely new genome so what you're saying is we discovered a new dinosaur oh wow jeez sort of it is incredible but it's not actually a dinosaur per se it's a dimetrodon the first non dinosaur species There was a toy for it, but, um, no, I don't think it was canon. This DNA is only part of the puzzle. Book. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new movie. Well, we already have that done, my dear. Oh, wait, someone's going crazy. Okay, let's just, um, slow this. Okay, so we got this, and, okay, realistically, we've, oh, wow, this place is actually way bigger than I thought. Like, I don't know if, like, it looks like this space is actually buildable. I could be wrong, though. 
like I haven't been in this map for a while actually because you know I've been busy with um film school because the reason I have been busy guys is because I've been actually doing my first um film project well short film project so I've been busy filming that but so we got five of them and you know what Let's just uh, make them all, you know, I don't care what's wrong with any of them as long as none of them are sick, which, why did I not look at that? Because I'm an idiot, Austin. Okay, so research is complete, and now we'll need to add this to here, and I am going to release them with their hatching animations, which actually, we'll need to um, just scooch these trees over, uh, there we go, that's better. So we'll just... We'll release them here right now, and then, you know, we'll actually, hold on, let's go digging for stuff. What do we, what can we dig right now? So we got Dimetrodon, Apatosaurus, Baryonyx, Ankylosaurus, Allosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Carnotaurus, Compsognathus, Dilophosaurus, Nosotoceratops, Gallimimus, Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Stiggy Moloch, which pretty sure there's gonna be more levels, but for now we just got these ones, plus Dimetrodon. So this is going to be pretty fun. And also we will do these ones. So we're at 69% right now. And now let's release the Dimetrodons and have a look at them. And we have the re live prey, which is good. I think they need goats. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember. Ah. Uh. I love this design. I remember seeing the little concept one for it, and oh my god, I was so terrified, but nope, these ones are awesome. Alright, now let's transport them. Alright, so ensure all dinosaurs have an 80%... Well, actually, they all do. These aren't the dinosaurs, though. Make sure all non dino Oh god, he's uh, phasing through. Oh, uh, get, get out of there, bugger. Come on, come on, let's go. So uh, he'll need sand. Ah, well, actually, let's just... um take a look at him. So what will you need? You'll need sand, meat. Okay, so you don't need live meat. Water, forest. Okay, so let's just pile in a bunch of sand here. And we don't have snow, do we? Ah, oh, missed opportunity, Frontier. Like, give us snow in this environment and oh my god, I will love you because snow mixed with mist, that just looks so cool and in my opinion. All right, so there you go. That's a bunch of sand. I know Anakin Skywalker would be disappointed in you, Dimetrodons, but I couldn't care less, dear. Because, well, you guys are awesome. Look at them, they're like, wee! Oh my god, his mouth's open, he's like, Arr. So yeah, like, this is one of those designs that is awesome. And I'm really glad that in the movie it was basically all... Pr I think it was 100% practical except for one scene, which was it uh, the shot, like, we got a full look at it at first. Oh, oh, look at him run! He's going for it! I think, uh, what's he... You're missing water? What? How much more water do you need, you guys? Uh, wait, what? Whoa, 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 Why are you fight? Oh, 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 God, they're using the force again. Now cut it out. Oh, God, he's biting him. No! Stop biting each other's. Oh my god, okay, so this animation is clearly not lining up correctly or something. Regular... You, you still aren't happy? There we go, we're on stage four. And now let's get the rest of... The yeah, you do. Wait, what? Uh, we aren't done with... We don't have all. Will represent the past, present, and the future. So, what do we focus on next? We we'll focus on upgrading our research company. That'll give us benefits. Yeah, cuz like it's not even built yet. I want to crown jewel. Something we can all be proud of. Do the research. We're shooting. Oh, we need it. Complete dinosaur genes. The genetic link between birds and dinosaurs has long been established. Now, with a feathered dinosaur, we can finally have our food. Yeah, with a little specimen. It's gonna be incredible. Well, what are we waiting for? Time to get started on the research. Well, I'm waiting for this guy to finish, um, you know, researching Dimetrodon, who apparently we can't get 100% genome for, which is sad. Faster research. There you go. 
And so this will give us the genetics and the biosyn stuff. Nice. Oh my god, look at the fog coming in. It is just... Uh, the, like... This map, it's just so good. Like, I'm gonna build the battle arena in here, and unlike what I said originally about wanting to use different maps for each battle royale, no, every battle royale, oh, wait. We're not done, are we? But it's built, yes, the dome. Well, actually, the Dolomite, I believe it's called. We're doomed. So this is how it looks according to Evolution 2. Oh, well, that really helps. Thanks. Oh, the, the sky's glitching out again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see starving millions and even possibly billions of people to get a profit and have control of the world. So, not really. Ah, there's the proper engine voice in Dr. Wu. Okay, so... So we're going to be building a pi So that's the way that it connects with his public view, but realistically, he just wants control of everything in the world. That's why he released the Locust, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're making the pyro! Oh yeah. I like how all the species are somehow here. It should, but will it? Honestly, I don't think, th I rather they left them in the fire because, um, yeah, you see all this space here that they had to their fingertips, plus all the space outside of this map, all the way up to there. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna say putting them into all those dinosaurs, over 20 species, into this, was a bad idea. And literally the first thing that happens as soon as we see the dinosaurs in there is the Giga and T-Rex and Therry fight. Like, that was a death pit. Okay, so, research the following. Ammermind level 2. Alrighty. Uh, well, we can't use you, so we'll use these two, and then we'll rest all these scientists who get tired way too easily. Now, hurry up. Because I want to I wanna make those damn pyroraptors. And, oh god, I just wish we had the other dinosaurs. Like, could you... Ah, uh, why didn't they include all the other Dominion dinosaurs? I hope they don't just, like... I'm betting, like, as soon as um, Dominion released on Blu-ray or something, they're going to be like, Oh, here comes the rest of the dinosaurs for a DLC that probably will be paid for. Which is annoying, but... I'm hoping that, like... They at least make those dinosaurs free. Because all it is is just the dinosaurs that are missing. Like, they've got the Atrociraptors, Morris Intrepidus, Oviraptor, Lystrosaurus, Microceratus, a few others, I think. But, so, oh, uh, okay, he just jumped the boat. There we go. We, we've got the research. Let's, let's see, how much do we have? Well, we've definitely got a huge chunk right here. So let's do that. And then these two, because we're smart. And that'll get us up to... Over 50% already, then we can send another expedition. Uh, excuse me? Pyroraptor's not done. There's gotta be another Pyroraptor. Uh, Pyroraptor number two, where are you? Because it says get you at 100%. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How do you go down a little? Oh, okay, so there's two. Okay, I, I was making a little bit of an oopsies. There's multiple levels, actually. So, what do we got on this level, actually? Because I wasn't paying attention. So, we got Pyroraptor here. Let's go for that right now. And then, let's see, Pracusaurus, Triceratops, 
T-Rex, so if we wanted a T-Rex, we could really make one, if we could afford it. Velociraptor, Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Stigimoloch, Dilophosaurus, Gallimimus, Allosaurus again, Dimetrodon over here, Apatosaurus, Baryonyx, Carnotaurus, Scompsognathus, Nasutoceratops, and Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Jesus, that was cruel. Just like, I want to snuggle with you. Oh, get off me, and I'm gonna step on you. <laughs> Priceless. Come on, release those five pyroraptors from their slumber. Release! Oh, and of course it's glitching again, the uh, concrete. Ooh, the music. Okay, there is definitely something wrong right now because everything around here is just glitching out. Like, you you guys can see that, right? Like, look at the feathers. Jesus Christ. Oh, what, what, what? Uh, no you haven't because they're, n they're on the mainland. Excuse me? Well, yeah, uh, where, where do you want me to put those guys, um, sir? Uh, because I, I don't have a spot for them. Like, I literally don't. So, um, okay, let's just pause for a second. And we'll, um, we'll make this enclosure for them. And once these guys arrive, we'll probably end it here. Because I was going to end it after the Pyraptors. But I guess we'll, um, do this little mission first. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, they'll all be fine with each other. Let's just take a look. So next we have Apatosaurus. Let's see. What do you need? Forest, prey, and friends. Okay, it's a good thing I left a lot of your forest in, but... I hope that's enough. And this should... This better be good for, um... Where's... Are the Ankylosaurs not coming in? Apatosaurus. All right, we'll just add you. Th oh, we've got three of you buggers. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just... Now let's see. What's up? Okay, so you guys are still missing forest. And you somehow haven't found your... Oh, it's out right. It's out of the territory space. Uh, there you go. And just in case, let's include a meat feeder because, you know... It'll be easier. And let's see. Ankylosaurus, what do you need? Ground leaf? And, uh, f fine. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Can you be comfortable with them? Let's see. Pachycephal swords and sauropod. You're okay with that. Good, fine. And then you guys, you need tall leaf. Okay, so tall leaf. Uh,. There you go, that's that. And then, Ankylosaurus, you need ground leaf, which... Ground leaf, there you go, that will be enough. Closure, actually. Oh, cool. What do you have? Tuberculosis. Uh, we already medic. We already researched that. We're good. Apatosaurus, you just need more forest. Which, okay, looks like we are bringing in the other one. So, um. Yep. Think about what? Don't 
Whoa, 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 dead? Excuse me? What? Uh, of course. That is a bad idea. More species we bring back, the more complex of a biosphere we have to manage. We can only push so far. Do you think you have pushed as far as you can go? Push harder. This genie is not going back in the Okay, well, first of all, you're insane. Oh, wait, we got more. Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of the Jurassic World Dominion Biosyn campaign where today we are continuing right where we left off with us now getting ready to make the Dreadnoughtus, Therizinosaurus, and the dreaded Giganotosaurus. But first at the moment we're um, building some facilities here so we can power our future operations because you know I just feel like it. And also, we're gonna build a hatchery over here, so that way I can show you guys the releasing animations, because you know they're all awesome. And, well, you know, make it easier for me to transport them closer, because all their exhibits are over here. Because, well, we've got one here, we've got one here, and also I realized I don't... Well, no, I have one here for Giga, one for Therizinosaurus and Dreadnoughtus, and we should be, in theory, a-okay. But Okay, so what do we need to do? Okay, so we got... Now let's synthesize and... Well, first let's go and dig them up. Okay, so what do we need? We need more people in order to go into lower in the amber mine. So let's see, can we find Giganotosaurus or any of that stuff? Let's see, no, well, what's this? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's see. T-Rex, Sinoceratops, no. Stiggy Milok, no. Stegosaurus, no. Wait, did I research them? Did, did I research the dinosaur? Ah, that's where it went wrong, of course. But first we need to, um, you know, wait for those guys to finish sleeping. So let's uh, make our little enclosure for, you know, the dinosaur as it releases. And then, you know, we'll just transport them to whatever enclosure they go to. Well, actually, you know what? We'll make this one as the um, Therizinosaurus's enclosure. That'll be easier for me. Who wants to make it hard these days? And I'm making them overly huge because, well, then there's no way for them to be annoyed. And also, let's just get rid of the trees here at the entrance because, you know, I want to see my dinos, please. And then we'll... Well, we have water here, so, uh, what? No, excuse me, no fighting, cut it out, come on, behave. Kids these days, misbehaving all the time. But, anyway, where were we? Let's make dinosaurs. Okay, we do not have enough of them, so, oh, uh, so we need, let's just see, let's see what we need. So we got four, because we need someone else who's h higher in these, and we can only have, a max of three, I see. That's not really helpful. There we go. Now we can finally do it. Now that I've spent so much money just, like, focused on all... There we go. Now research him. And then... Please tell me we're still in the profit... Okay, we're still making money. Just very slowly. Which means I'm probably going to have to pause in a little bit. Just to let myself regain money. Because... Ugh. But... You know, we are running smoothly, and also these enclosures are really, really big now that I'm thinking about it all. Okay, so expedition complete. Let's, um, first take a look and see how... Oh, we can sell. Don't mind if I do. We've got some profits. And, oh my god, this is insane. 
So I, I literally can only do one of these at a time for all of them. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, here comes the mist. Look at this. Look at the Pyroraptor in the mist. Ooh, even deeper in. Oh, guys, th th these Power Raptors, I don't care what people say if they don't like them or not. These guys are awesome. The only thing I would change is probably the eye to be more bird-like, but that's just me. It's still an awesome design for a Power Raptor. I, can, I am excited to be doing series with this guy in. But, yeah, these guys are awesome. Now, let's see. How are you all doing? Are you all okay? We'll name this one the most fearsome name. Phil. Phil the Pyroraptor, a deadly adversary for us. Wait, what? Excuse me, we, we have enough. Are you kidding me? We, ne we need more? There's the beast. There you go. We'll get that, and then we'll probably have to, you know, just rest all of our scientists, and then, you know, take a huge break as we let them, you know, Oh my god, we only have less than two million. Oh, nope, we have more than two million. Jesus, we're gonna... So, I'm gonna um, pause for a little bit, guys. And when we get back, we'll have a lot more money. And we'll be able to make the rest of the dinosaurs. So, uh, catch you in a bit. Alright, guys, we are back. And, well, for the second time, because... We left off, at least for you guys, we left off right when we were um, getting ready to synthesize these and get, like, all the research done. And as you can see, we have three species down. We have a T-Rex, we have a Giga, and a Dreadnoughtus. We don't have Therizinosaurus yet because, as you can see, we need level four. Now, little story, I did manage to get all this stuff done, but just when I was releasing Therizinosaurus and about to wrap up the video, probably, because I don't think there was anything else afterwards... Well, the game crashed, and so did my recording there. So, literally, all the stuff that I did to get up to um, making and releasing all the dinosaurs, I had them all in their enclosures. Yeah, that, that, that meant nothing, really, because, well, nothing went right. And also, since I'm going to have the T-Rex out in the wild, I'm just going to put a little fence line here, and I think I need one here... But yeah, guys, I literally cannot believe. So I've just saved, so if anything happens, I just start from here again, and then after this, if I can research that, once I research Amber Level 4, I'll save it after it's done researching, or even then, I'll start saving it. And, well, let's first release the Dreadnoughtus, because we need 150 people working. Ooh, we get a front look this time, finally. Oh, look at that. And a vehicle's under threat. Oh, no! Oh, look at that. Also, I'm just realizing how dangerous those clouds are. Like, those clouds are very, um... Oh, that is beautiful. It's movie calls, even though you don't really hear too much, mainly because the only times you see the Dreadnoughtus, unfortunately, there's really loud music, so it's really difficult to hear, unfortunately. But, you know, it, it's still awesome, and I... I hope to see more of the Dreadnoughtus. It was one of those dinosaurs I was like, well, we already have two sauropods, both of which we saw in the movie. Technically, we've had three, if you include Mementosaurus, even though it was, like, only three seconds worth of screen time, basically. Um, this guy, he's grown on me. I, I love how vibrant its colors are, actually, like, especially that yellow. And he's about to drop. And let's go... Blech. There you go. Very excellent. Then we're going to release the Giganotosaurus, and you should be happy in there. So let's um speed that up so we can pick you up, and then we shall release the Nightmare of the Giganotosaurus. There you go. Come on, hurry up. Pick him up and get him out of here, even though that's got to be seriously uncomfortable for him. Oh, with the fog coming in, let's release the beast! Oh, here he comes. Look at him. Oh, it's a beast. I love this design. Ah, do the roar. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> the beast of the Giga, and we are still not at... An, oh, wait, we're almost there. Oh, look at this thing. But, 
first we're going to need to transport it out of here into this enclosure because this will be the Therizinosaurus and before we release the T-Rex I'm going to personally no wait no that's the wrong one I'm going to personally collect this creature myself because well I just feel like it so let's go and get that Giganotosaurus he's right there and let's turn around before he gets into the trees oh wait hold on hold on that helicopter and well He's in the forest, so we're gonna have to be extra careful. Oh, he's got the mist covering him. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's get into capture mode. Let's just... Let's just take a look. Where's that giga... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at that. That is awesome. Just like, in the in the fog comes the uh, Giganotosaurus. Ranquilizes, bugger. Uh, wherever he is there we go in the fog he is and he's out on the border boom there we go one shot oh he, he's on the run let's go da -da 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 or something like that and he's on the open get him before he goes back in and oh no I missed him no I missed him ah, I'm, I'm doing terrible at the end where is he oh no oh, there he is he's going oh we got him and hold on and Oh, oh god, he uh, broke his- uh, guys, we got a problem. He was dead! He broke his neck! Oh my god, that's just- I love the way they just play out and like, go every which way except for the right way. So let's put you here, and I think we're okay to release the T-Rex now. Oh, with the god music. Here comes the T-Rex! And it's not just any T-Rex. It's frickin' Rexy with her scars! Do the roar! Well, once again, it's not the movie one. You guys remember when the first game came out and everybody was outraged that, um, T-Rex, you know, didn't have her... I mean, not T-Rex, um, Spinosaurus. She didn't have, um, her movie roars? Yeah, where's that energy for, um, T-Rex? Because, like... It has, like, game versions of the Roars, but not, like, the pure movie ones, and it's so annoying. And here we go, guys, the Therizinosaurus is complete, so let's release the beast! The Freddy Krueger, the Nightmare. Oh, in darkness. Ah, uh, god, that light on it looks absolutely gorgeous, actually. Now what do we have to do? Oh, we. What do we need? Ground leaf and water. Yeah. This is a bad idea. Oh. This is Biosyn at its best. Any dinosaurs we still need in the facility? Let me check the research. We've gotta make sure we get them all. This is too great an opportunity to miss. Once in a lifetime, right? I mean, for the dinos and for us. With all that's happening, we still want to keep an eye on our dinosaur visibility and comfort levels. Agreed. Let's of course. Let's. Sh Oh, there we go, so he is happy. So we need... Okay, so all we need is more dinosaurs. And guys, there we go. We are good. We got the briefing, and all we need to do is just make the last few dinosaurs, which I do have them ready, and let's start with another Therizinosaurus. Ooh, we're getting a different camera angle this time, focusing on the claws. Now, this is supposed to be a purple one. And I can already tell the purple is there, but let's turn them towards the light. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, actually, no, that's not purple, but that is a, oh, excuse me, a gorgeous one. I, oh, I like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it, and I realize the one thing that I need for this. I need a skin that has the eyes blind. I, like... There's nothing wrong with it, just I think because Dominion it looks so cool with um, bl being blind, I just want to see that version as well, because like, 
even if it's just a skin, Frontier, please make that happen. Just like, as a little gift to the fans, it's like, hey, you guys really enjoyed it, and all of you guys were enjoying Dominion's DLC? Here you go, have a Therizinosaurus that's blind. Like, just... Like, if they did it for just their Xenosaurus, I'd be fine. Or imagine if, like, they had it for all the dinosaurs where they had a blind version. Like, it's like, in skins, option, the final option, blind version of said dinosaur. That'd be so cool just because it'd bring uniqueness to them. Like, not only for the skins, but just, like, in the look for, like, you know, them being blind. Wait. Oh, they need more ground leaf, apparently. Uh, okay, we'll fix that, and then we'll release the, um, whatever it is. Oh, oh, are you guys sizing each other up? Oh, no, you're just breaking. You're perfectly fine with each other. So let's release first batch of Gallimine. Oh my god, this grass is tall, or we're really low. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the proper Gallimimus, the actual Jurassic Park ones, and we need another group of them, so let's just release this group, and then this group. Oh, there we go. Oh, someone's walking camera. Thank you very much. And I th don't know what else is left, guys. I think this might be it. And, uh... Let's, uh, quickly, um... Release this last... Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Oh. Is that it? It is it! Mission complete! Biosyn Sanctuary! Now, let's see. This facility... It's... It's remarkable. You're welcome. Say that again. Oh, it's remarkable. There you go. A biosyn sanctuary. Although, that does sound like marketing rather than reality. Well, reality is the one we Yeah, realistically, it's a death pit in an emergency situation. I still can't believe that. I watched the movie, I was like, wait a minute. Their solution is to put, take them out of the valley, the massive valley, to put them in a death pit? Yeesh. We've done our best for the dinosaurs and for Biosyn. We did our jobs and we did them well. This is no time to be looking back. And we look forward to all the possibilities that we are about to share with the world. Oh god, you can see the trees just glitching out. It's like, oh, we're getting distance. Let's shrink them. Oh, I can see the Dreadnoughtus! Oh, that was... C so there it is. That was the first of the, um, campaigns. And I'm gonna leave it here.